Hey, what's up everyone? I got Daniel Fazio here, also known as Cold Email Wizard, co-founder at Client Ascension and founder at multiple software companies. So Daniel, tell everyone here what it is exactly that you do at Client Ascension. What's up? So Client Ascension is a coaching program. Um, it helps people build outbound marketing systems, social media systems to sell more of either their consulting program, marketing agency, B2B business, heavy emphasis on outbound marketing, cold email stuff. Awesome. Good stuff. So tell me, Daniel, how much new revenue did you make within the first 82 days of working with me and the team at TickScale through your YouTube channel? So it is a directly attributable revenue from working with you on my YouTube of about $108,000 to this day. Good stuff, man. So tell me a little bit about what your process used to look like for YouTube, because I think in the past you had someone who's just an editor rather than like a content partner like us. So what did your process used to look like and how does it look now? Everyone wants to start YouTube. You got three options pretty much. One is you can sit here and try to edit the stuff yourself or just do non-edited videos with terrible retention. Second is that you can try to finagle around some VAs that just do like terrible work. Or second is that you can work with someone like Eamon who does a variety of different things that I will explain now. It's not just editing a video. It is the ideation of what specific topic types, sequences of a topic and SEO optimization that's actually going to result in you acquiring new business as opposed to trying to be an entertainer. Right. So I think that's, that's a heavy emphasis. That is a big differentiator for working with you guys is people might hear like, oh yeah, I do YouTube for people. And what they're thinking is like, like the entertaining type videos where I, I dug a hole for 1000 days or something like weird, just doesn't make any sense, but it's like, no. So like, when you deliver me scripts to write, there's a very specific purpose as to why you are delivering this exact script. And it has a lot to do with search traffic and competition on that search traffic. Then just to make it as easy as conceivably possible for me, what you do is you go watch other videos, you find out what is working and what is not on those videos in regards to talking point, you bullet out those exact topic points. And I just send you the filming what I get back is one, the video, which is always 100% of the time, extremely good editing. Two, the description, full description, all of my links already in there. Three, SEO optimization around what the title needs to be, all the tags and the tripling of keywords inside of the description. So if you are someone who's trying to actually sell something, on the internet and you're wondering how should I proceed forward with trying to get started on YouTube, you should probably work with somebody like Eamon who is one, trying to actually make you more money, two, has obviously proven that he has the capacity to do this via me. 100%. And then, yeah, that's one thing about YouTube. It's like people, they want to get started and then they just put out a tweet like, oh, I need an editor. It's like, no, you need so much more than that. And mm -hmm. we've proven that through you. So that's awesome. So like, tell me how much time do you kind of put into your YouTube videos Per week. Not a lot. I mean, it's probably, um, maybe, I mean, grand total actual filming time is like maybe like an hour or an hour and a half or something. I mean, I sit here and like think about it and do research myself, but it's not in any regards required of me, but yeah, it's, it's nowhere longer than like an hour or two. Got you. Like, why would you say it's important for a business to be on YouTube nowadays? Is it like, oh, people are just randomly going to find you through search and all of our different tactics. Is it because you need to be omnipresent? Like, Kind of why is it important to be on YouTube specifically out of every social platform? Yeah, so if we were to take, um, let's say someone who's watching this right now, they're like a, like an agency owner or something like that, um, or they sell like, like a coaching program or whatever. To grow your business, you do like cold outbound, cold email, or like ads or something like that, right? So let's take two exact same people. You have the exact same offer. One of you has 10 YouTube videos. The other person has zero. 100% of the time, the person with the 10 YouTube videos gets all of the business. And I don't, he's not getting like 20, 30% more business. He gets all of the business because if you're trying to sell something like high ticket, your prospects are not stupid. It's like a plague that people think like, Oh, I just like spin up a bunch of ads and it like magically pulls people through like this funnel. And like, and it's like, no, they're Googling your name and conveniently YouTube is a property of Google. So the indexing on it is heavily favored. Right. And if there's 10 videos of you, it's indexed off your name. It's indexed off your company name. You show up at the top. 
And I can't tell you how many times I've signed clients where it's like, yeah, bro, like I've been watching your YouTube. And earlier I said, yeah, it's $108,000 of directly attributable revenue. What I mean by that is they specifically clicked a link in the description. However, that doesn't mean that it did not have a very forceful driving impact on hundreds, multiple hundreds of thousands of additional new business, right? Because no one's buying my stuff unless they're going to my YouTube or reading my emails or, or going through my content marketing. Like no one's doing that. And now YouTube's very unique in that it's the only platform on the entire planet that works as both a demand generation mechanism and a conversion mechanism. Lead gen mechanism and conversion mechanism. And what do I mean by that? Lead gen mechanism is it's discovery. Like new people find you through search when you're indexing off of stuff, when you get an SEO optimized via Amen. Second is people in your funnel looking you up are going to watch the videos and they might never ever click a link on the YouTube videos, but they definitely watched it. And I know for an absolute fact, this is the case because basically every single one of my clients has explicitly told me they have watched my YouTube videos and comment on my YouTube videos. So it's, it's a thing. And if you're trying to grow something right now and you are under the impression that you're going to get to, I don't know, 200K a month, half a mil a month, a mil a month, and you're not on YouTube. You're just, it's just wrong. It's just objectively incorrect. It's not really a recommendation I'm giving. It's a requirement. It's like you have to be doing that. You you really, if you want to get to extremely higher levels and just make your calls easier. This is what people don't talk about. Where if you, if you run your business off of sales calls, it's a prospect books a call with you. And you send a pre-call email that says, hey, thanks for doing the call. Like here's a cheat with all the information that you might need. By the way, before you come to the call, you might find some interest in watching this YouTube video or this YouTube video and this YouTube video. And this even happens with cold email. If you're doing cold outbound, people, if anyone, if anyone on the planet is interested in a cold email that you sent them before they reply to your email, 100% of the time they are Googling you. 100% of the time. Maybe one in 1,000 people won't. I have done that every single time I've got a cold email. So does everybody else. When you ask them, they'll tell you they do. If you watch someone open a cold email, like if you were just next to them, they're going to do it 100% of the time. They're going to copy the sending domain. Embedding your YouTube videos on your landing page works hilariously well, like so wildly well. It's it, if you're not on YouTube, you're it's just it's just dumb. It's a very dumb decision if you're not doing yeah. it. And on the topic of pre-call flows, I noticed you have three automated emails. And then I'm pretty sure in the third one, you just have a ton of case studies off of your YouTube channel. And these yeah. are interviews with your clients. You mm -hmm. want to talk like super briefly about why these interviews that we're putting on your YouTube channel just work so well. Yeah. So, I mean, that's, um, if you were to take like what's on my channel, there's videos that are meant to capture a broad audience. So it's not SEO optimized. That's to optimize for discovery. Just find new people. Then there's another category of videos that are SEO optimized and are heavily based upon like a tutorial-esque value giving frame. And then there's all of the people who are considering, like seriously considering joining my thing or working with us for any one of our offers. They are watching those videos. Like, all of the time. And this, this isn't really talked about either. Like, dude, I have a, I have YouTube videos that I posted a year ago that still get like 50, 75 views a day just because it's SEO optimal. I go and I look at my case study videos. Those just get views like just organically, like all the time. Just search traffic. It's just showing up on recommended. It's the only social media platform on the planet where you post something and it lives forever. It, it typically works better over time. Like if you post something on like Instagram or Twitter, it's gone in like six hours. It's just gone. It's completely gone maybe last 24. YouTube is the only thing on the planet where you post something and a year later, it's still working for you. It's just, it's a portfolio of digital real estate. That is what YouTube can be effectively equated to. And to sit here and not put in the re the effort, the time, the investment into building a portfolio of digital real estate that quite literally actually objectively does deliver you a return on investment. You're, it's just, I, it's just dumb. Like, I don't understand why you wouldn't do that. Yeah. I think it's pretty clear here behind like your results and your enthusiasm, like how well this works. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Dope, bro. Tell me about like your experience working with us in a sense of like turnaround time, how fast I'm texting you back in Slack and then also just it's how open we are. 
to Dude, constructive I was, criticism. I was talking about this, um, I think the other day with some of my business partners, I mean, Andre, Christian, Dan, and we were like, dude, Eamon is so fast. It's wild. It's like crazy fast. Um, Probably the fastest like service provider, like someone like working with someone I've ever had in my life, like just ridiculously fast. Yeah. Love that. Yeah, I always make it a priority. There's another topic I want to cover. It's something called trust hours, where essentially like before somebody gives you their money, they have to consume on average seven hours of your content. So like having all these YouTube videos up that are just compounding over time, getting views, it's like extremely important in order to get buyers. And mm -hmm. that's exactly what we're doing with Daniel's channel. Yeah. So yeah, it's a parasocial relationship. I mean, like if, if think of it like this, there's a direct correlation between how long somebody is exposed to you versus how much much money they pay you for whatever amount of offers you have. It's one to one more, more familiar with you, more money they will spend over a, a, a large array of people over a pool of 100,000 people. So what does that mean? What it means is that if you want to get somebody to watch 20 hours of you, you need 20 hours of you that exist on the internet. Somebody can't watch 20 hours of you if 20 hours just don't exist. It's it's the same concept of people like they talk about and it, it's it's true. You need to have like high ticket backends. You need to have the opportunity for somebody to spend $100,000 with you. But if you don't have something that exists for them to spend that much, then you'll just never make that much. It, it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, 100%. A couple other things I want to quickly go over is like, we also helped you produce like two video sales letters. And I want to quickly go over like, why do you think it's important to have high quality, like well produced video sales letters on your website? Yeah, I mean, that's a retention thing. Um, So like, for instance, I mean, you could sit here and I, I like to make VSLs where I'm just like sitting talking on a dock. That's boring. So if you were to uh, compare the difference between, and I can see the video stats on Wistia for the VSL. Um, the difference between having an edited VSL, like what you've helped me do with mine, is let's say a non-edited one is gonna get like a 15% view rate, and then an edited one gets a 30. That's like literally doubling your business, like effectively. It's at least doubling how many people book a call. So yeah, <laughs> it, 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 that one thing is such, such a wildly, ridiculously powerful just force that gets applied to, it's just so simple to do. Yeah, so yeah. like that, 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 that's something that people should do. 100%. And then like on top of the VSLs, kind of like what we talked about earlier, we also helped you make four YouTube ad creatives for one of your info products. And hopefully we're gonna work with you on many more. Talk about like, I'm not too sure how long you've been running them for but what kind of tangible results have you gotten from the ad creatives for your info product um those are for youtube ads if you're getting something like 200 dollars per call that's considered good we we get below that like like far below like half that so that's what good youtube ads do and you put that on a long enough amount of spend. It's just like, it's just ridiculous. Like it just is. Yeah. And YouTube ads are amazing because they just last for a really long time. It's not yeah. like a TikTok ad. It's not like these other platforms. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, that's the that's the difference between YouTube ads as well, which is very interesting. If you make TikTok ads, your ad will die on like $1,000 of spend. This is dumb. If you get a winning YouTube ad, you can throw like a quarter mil into that one single video and it just keeps working. It's it's the only platform that that works. I, I don't know what it is about YouTube. I, I have no idea why. I guess it's just like people's attention spans are longer when they're open on the app of YouTube. Yeah. 100%. Awesome, man. I got two more questions for you here and then we can wrap it up. I know you're busy. So like based on the results so far, like where do you think you're going to be six months from now in terms of revenue? Whether you want to talk about directly from YouTube or the business as a whole, I'll let you take it from here. Yeah. So um, currently I have 11,000 subscribers on YouTube and it, I, I, I very regularly look at the stats because I like the dopamine hit. Um, And <laughs> the rate with which it accelerates. It's, it's very gradual. So I think maybe I get like 30, 40 new subs a day. And if I haven't posted in like a week, I'm still getting like 20 to 30 a day, which is like insane when you think about it. And like, I'll get just like a thousand views a day, like doing precisely nothing. I think I have like, I don't know how many full length videos I have on YouTube. Maybe it's like 30 or 40. But now imagine I have 300. I just have 10 times more. And let's say like the stats were fixed, but they would compound just you have more subscribers, 
like it, it, it's more proven your reach just inherently goes higher over time but if it was just fixed with 10 times more videos that would be 10,000 views a day 100 percent zero additional effort beyond that probably be like 200 300 subs a day but realistically it will probably work out to just be considerably larger it is a compounding machine and i just see it i'm starting to feel it right now i think people will start to really feel like considerable force on youtube at around like 20 to 30 videos when you start to see it happening it's absolutely wild like when you i'm just imagining it i i'm pretty confident i'll be at like a hundred thousand subs in a year yeah. it took me one year to get to 11k it'll probably take me one year to get to 100 i would imagine cool. that's how it works out 100 percent. it's gonna compound awesome bro. last question for you like what would you say to somebody who's watching this and they're on the fence of working with me and the team like just what would you tell them i would assume someone's maybe they're at like 10k a month or something or t you're anywhere from like 10 to 50k a month or something like that and what else are you gonna do with the capital like specifically like because you you have some amount of free cash flow you take some amount of profit like what specifically else are you doing and if you can give a good reason or a good alternative it's not even that expensive if you can give a good alternative as to how you would actually deploy one to two hours of your time a week and a small investment like i i mean you're probably just not going to make it like like what other function is the capital serving like the entire function of the capital is to produce more capital it, it just doesn't what are you going to do just let it sit there in the bank account and just like degrade via inflation like it's just it's just it's just dumb just, move like go yeah speed yeah awesome bro. dope man unless you have anything else to say i'm just going to end it off here all of daniel's links are going to be in the description thank you for hopping in and anything else you want to leave them with or we're good, I'm good awesome. bro. Sounds good. thank you very Thanks much all right so before i end off this interview i do want to say i know what you guys are thinking daniel already had an audience online before i started working with him and i just want to clarify that this is hundred and eight thousand dollars in new directly attributable revenue okay so this is new on top of what he was already making before working with me secondly you don't actually actually need a big audience to get results like this. I'm going to show you guys some case studies real quick. So on top here, we have Matt Lucero and we're currently getting him three qualified calls every single week off of his YouTube channel. And we started working with him when he had like 200 subscribers. Okay. But more importantly, this is off main. Okay. We started working with him in July or somewhere in the summer and he closed a $3,200 deal after posting four videos on a brand new channel and averaging 200 views per video. So he runs a done for you cold email lead generation agency and he sells some info on the side. And we're currently getting him three qualified calls every single week. And once again, this is off of a brand new YouTube YouTube channel. So this is proof this not only works, but it's like a GTA cheat code. So obviously you guys just watched the Daniel case study and then we have the Charles case study. So I scaled him from 30K a month to 75K a month using YouTube. And he's a top 100 Facebook advertiser, right? So he doesn't play. And then we also work with Dakota Robertson. He loves our videos. And then obviously Daniel. We got four calls in a single day for Dylan, getting him a couple calls a week. This is somebody who joined after watching his YouTube videos. And then this is off main when he got his first three call day. And then just more case studies. So look, in the description, I'm going to link a 75 page doc that details the exact 13 steps that I use to help Daniel Fazio, also known as Cold Email Wizard, add over $108,000 in new revenue in just 82 days using our fully automated content operating system. Without speaking into the void, communicating and managing multiple freelancers or waiting years for tangible results. So if you wanna get access to the 75 page doc, it's gonna be the first link in the description. And all you have to do is hit get access, put your name, email, phone number, and you'll instantly get access. So that's everything. If you wanna check out these case studies, once again, first link in the description, and that's it. Peace out.